All right, Shalom, I Kim. I was a high spirit wind Judah of the Mississippi camp, okay? The GMS Mississippi camp, giving our honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Also giving double honors to the apostles and great millstone who rule well, all right? And I want to say peace and blessings, salutations to the hopefully elect. All right, keep pushing the work. We definitely almost out here, man. This is the year of death, destruction, and diligence, man. All right? But today I want to speak on basically how your diet determines what spirit you're going to be in. All right? And first and foremost, I want to quote, roughly quote a scripture in Sirach where it says, Prove thy soul and thy life, and, and that which is evil for it, give not that unto it. And it also goes on to say, for all things are not profitable for all men. So if this doesn't apply to you, then, you know, in the spirit it applies to somebody else more than like another brother, man. All right, but basically I'm just saying this generally, your, your, your diet determines what frequency you on, man, what spirit you're going to be in, man. It, it's just that simple. You know, when you eat low-level food, low-energy food, condensed, acidic burgers, the, the fried chicken, the, the fries, in which we all indulge, you know, every now and then. But when you make that your your thing, that keeps your spirit on a low frequency, man. It keeps you on a low physical mundane frequency, man. It's like you can't see through the smoke because you're in the smoke, you see? Alright? It keeps you in the matrix, so to speak, mentally and spiritually, man. Alright? You have, to, you have to think about something. In the ancient world, we automatically ate healthy. And then beyond that, when the Most High wanted to reveal a vision to a prophet, he told them to go on a certain fast or a cleanse be, beyond what he was already doing, beyond the health that he was already uh, partaking in. Because of his environment, uh, men of the Lord in the ancient world, men in general, ate healthy. But like I said, beyond that, in order to get into that spirit and the Most High would deal with them, all right, they will have to eat basically according to the particular um, circumstance. The most I had them in, mostly you know, plant based. You know, the, the most I was dealing with John the Baptist on a level he was eating honey and locusts. But Ezra's at a particular time ate the flowers of the field. It just so happened you have a flower called calendula and others that grows in the Mediterranean in the Middle East that happen to be edible. And there are other flowers that's edible, okay? But to bring it back to the point, man, to focus on the point, your diet determines what spirit you're going to be in, man. You know, if you feel like you got this low energy, low frequency, you might want to examine what diet you in, all right? Because your diet, because you have to remember, your spirit is driving this vehicle called your body. Your body is nothing but a vehicle on the planet Earth, man, the, the maneuver on, in this physical dimension. It's an Earth suit. Just like you go underwater, you have a, a swimsuit. You go out of space, you have a space suit. You go, you, you're walking on the Earth, you need an Earth suit. But who is the you inside the Earth suit? It's your spirit, all right? And the thing that keeps your spirit clean and restored, besides, you know, the word and other things, on a physical level, is what you put in inside your earthly vehicle, man. What type of fuel are you putting inside of your vehicle, man? Because if you're putting low-level fuel in it, low-grade fuel, that vehicle is going to be heavy and it's going to drive slow. But if you put that high uh, velocity, that, that rich fuel in it, that vehicle is going to drive very fast and it's going to be on a so-called higher wave. All right? So to keep yourself on a higher wave and the spirit on this frequency, to keep your antennas high to the frequency of the, the most high, so to speak, you got to eat according to um, the most high. All right, you got to eat this high frequency diet, man. Food is on a high vibration, which is basically food that comes from the earth, man. Even the meat that we ate, like I said, it was grass fed. And that's a whole different feeling when you eat meat that's grass fed. But the bulk of our diet is from the planet earth, man, which keeps us on that high vibration. Because when you get on a lower vibration, you're going to always desire sensual things beyond the norm. It's natural that we in this body that you're going to desire things pertaining to this body, such as sex, food, anything that, that caters to the senses. But when you on the lower frequency, so to speak, all right, it keeps you in that realm. It keeps you on that wave, man. 
I mean, if you look at Jake around you, you know, I, I work around Jake, you know, you might live around Jake, you might still be in school and see how Jake functions. Part of the reason why they act all out of balance because the food they eat, man. And I'm saying this from a, a health perspective because, you know, Jake is spiritually dead, whether whether he's healthy or not. But this, this is going from a, a spiritual perspective, man. All right? But, the, you know, to draw my final conclusion, your diet determines your, the spirit you're going to be in, the frequency that you're going to be in, okay? So it'll behoove you to focus, to be on a... Uh, a more alkaline, more closer to a plant-based diet. Make sure you're drinking that clean water and, and, and making your business to stay away from junk food, man. It has no nutritional value, man. All right? Eat foods is of a high vibration. And it's going to keep us spiritually connected to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shah. But with that, I want to say, Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shah, Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shah, Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shah, Hey, to the next lesson, Shalom.